Hello, my name is Roy Beiswanger, and I want to talk to you about maintenance in the FAA Mosaic Rule Proposal. The focus here is on the FAA discussion on major repairs and major alterations, as well as changes to certificated mechanic privileges. In the description, you will find a link to the FAA's Notice of Proposed Rulemaking and PRM, as well as links to other resources. Remember, I'm just letting you know what is in the NPRM. By reading the FAA's words, I'm not necessarily endorsing the FAA's text or methods. In fact, I'm wanting you to listen closely to their words because these are the rules you will have to live under. This is meant to be a class on the document. I refer you to the original document for precise language. Let's finish the discussion on maintenance. So that you get a scope of everything in this section, uh, here is a list of individual items. Here in mosaic number 32, we'll talk about the last two areas, major repairs and major alterations, as well as changes to certificated mechanic privileges. Let's get to it. Major repairs and major alterations. Section 91.327B6 currently requires that each major alteration to an aircraft product produced under a consensus standard is authorized, performed, and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. The FAA is proposing to revise this section by adding the term major repair, removing the statement to an aircraft produced under a consensus standard, and adding language to clarify that the required authorization to perform a major repair or major alteration must be provided by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. The proposed section 91.327B6 text will require that each major repair or major alteration is authorized by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. It will retain the existing requirement that each major alteration be performed and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. The proposal will add that same requirement to major repairs. The following discussion explains these changes in more detail. First, Section 91.327B6 establishes requirements for major alterations but is silent on major repairs. The FAA is proposing to add major repairs to this provision to require major repairs also be authorized by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. The proposed rule would also require that major repairs be performed and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. The proposal is consistent with how major repairs are applied to type certificated aircraft with one difference. Although a major repair on a type certificated aircraft must be done in accordance with technical data approved by the administrator, that's Section 6595A1, such administrator approved data does not exist for a light sport category aircraft, and so a major repair on a light sport category aircraft built to a consensus standard that meets the requirements of Part 22 should be done only after authorization from the manufacturer. Therefore, the proposal requires the major repair must be authorized by the manufacturer and performed and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. Additionally, related provisions in Part 65, specifically Sections 65.85 and 65.87, reference both major alterations and major repairs. Second, the FAA proposes to remove the language to any aircraft produced under a consensus standard from Section 91.327B6 as unnecessary. Section 91.327 applies to the operating requirements of aircraft that have a special airworthiness certificate in the light sport category. Separately, pursuant to proposed Section 21.190D6, manufacturers must state that these aircraft are built to a consensus standard. Therefore, Reading Section 91.327B6 and the proposed Section 21.190 together, it is clear that aircraft in the light sport category must be built to a consensus standard. As a result, the language referencing consensus standards is unnecessary because all aircraft subject to Section 91.327B6 would have to be produced under a consensus standard. Therefore, the FAA proposes to remove this paragraph from Section 91.327b6. Third, regarding the manufacturer authorizing major alterations, the FAA finds that the current language could be clearer. 
read strictly, the current 91.327B6 requires that each major alteration to an aircraft is authorized in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. However, such a reading points to authorizations being in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures. A major repair or major alteration must be authorized by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA because the aircraft is built to a consensus standard that meets the requirements of Part 22. The manufacturer is best suited to determine if the aircraft will continue to meet the means of compliance with the consensus standard following a major repair or major alteration. Additionally, a major repair or major alteration must be performed and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. Changes to Certificated Mechanic Privileges Currently, Section 65.85b allows a certificated mechanic with an airframe rating to approve for return to service an airframe or related part or appliance of an aircraft with a special airworthiness certificate in the light sport category after a major repair or major alteration, providing the work done was performed in accordance with instructions developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. Similarly, under Section 65.87b, the same privileges apply to a certificated mechanic with a power plant rating for a return to service a power plant or propeller or related part or appliance. Under proposed Section 95.327b6, no person may operate an aircraft that has a special airworthiness certificate in the light sport category unless each major repair or major alteration is authorized by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA and is performed and inspected in accordance with maintenance and inspection procedures developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. Sections 65.85b and 65.87b currently do not align with the proposed section 91.327b6 in a way that would require that a mechanic does not approve an airframe or power plant for return to service with an unauthorized major repair or alteration. Performing the major repair or major alteration in accordance with instructions developed by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA may not sufficiently verify the aircraft or engine meet the proposed section 91.327b6 requirement. Therefore, the FAA is proposing to add language to sections 65.85b and 65.87b that requires, in addition to the existing requirement regarding instructions, the mechanic determine the major repair or major alteration is authorized by the manufacturer or a person acceptable to the FAA. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video. At first glance, there isn't anything here that seems out of line. But if you see something, either good or bad, about this proposal, please leave a comment for me and others. This wraps up the second and last section on maintenance. Coming up will be the FA's discussion on operations. And that is it for Mosaic number 32. Please comment and like the video if you got value from it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe so you can get more of the good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and blue skies.